Um, okay, so quickly to talk about faculty evaluations for adjuncts or part-timers. Um, I like to be the one that talks about this because I think evaluation can cause a lot of anxiety for people, and we really focus on it being a positive experience here at Mesa. This is lifted directly from your collective bargaining agreement and states that the purpose is to assess effectiveness, to encourage professional growth, and to make informed decisions. So that's really, all of those are positive, right? Um, and those decisions can be for all different levels of faculty and whatnot. So that's um, the general purpose. Thank you. So the schedule for it, for adjunct faculty, you will be asked to conduct student evaluations once every 18 months. So it's every semester and a half. Most They are all done online now. And I will say one of our biggest challenges is getting uh, students to complete online evaluations. But it's so crucial for you to have that feedback. It's so helpful for us to have that feedback. So I encourage you to talk to other faculty about creative ways to get people to participate in it. Some people do extra credit. Some people have students do it while they're sitting in the classroom. There's lots of different ways to get good um, feedback on that. And then you'll be scheduled for a peer or chair designee evaluation um, every, minimally every three years. So that's the cycle that we generally follow. And when you are a brand new adjunct, that occurs either your first or second semester. Um, and then, Sometimes a dean is involved, but that's um, if you're about to qualify for what Jeff talked about, that job security, we call it priority of assignment, a dean can come in and, and join the designee. Process really quick. Your dean's going to come out to, your dean's going to contact you, say you're due for an evaluation, and they're going to ask you for a couple of peers from the department that you'd like to have evaluate you. We ask that you talk to the peers first to ask them if that's okay. They may have a big load. Um, if you don't know anybody yet, that's fine too. We'll just make an assignment. Um, the peer will then, once assigned, the peer will contact you, usually ask for a syllabus, usually ask for an updated resume and CV, um, and then they'll conduct a one-time classroom visit. That's a minimum of 50, 50 minutes. They're not supposed to tell you when they're coming. Um, and they will um, also look at your student evaluations and they will take all that information, put it together and um, complete a checklist and a letter that accompanies the checklist to explain their findings. Um, they will then go back to you, share those materials. It's an opportunity for discussion. Please don't hesitate to ask if you have questions about their feedback. Um, that's a really, that's where that really important dialogue occurs and the, and the information for your growth occurs. Um, once you signed it, the evaluator assigned it, it then goes to the dean for their review and signature. Um, and in some cases, an improvement plan is developed um, and shared with an evalu with a with a faculty member. That would be the only time probably that an evaluation is then scheduled sooner than the three years because we want to support you in that and see how things are going with the plan, et cetera. Uh, okay, next. Um, I know you can't see this, but this is the checklist that's used to um, evaluate your classroom. And it's basically divided into several sections. One is your subject matter mastery. So they're going to be looking at um, your CV or, or your, um, your resume to see, are you engaging in professional development? What are you doing to continue your knowledge about learning theory and teaching um, information in the classroom? There's a section on preparing for teaching, one for actually teaching in the classroom, one for your role as a coach and counselor with your students, and then finally your knowledge and uh, involvement. So what are you doing within the department? What are you doing to ensure um, equity in your classroom, et cetera, et cetera? And then uh, lastly, there is a very extensive college faculty appraisal guide that can be found online. If you don't, or if you aren't able to find it, ask your dean or your chair to send you a copy of it. And pages 54 through 57 sort of um, deal specifically with the adjunct evaluations, um, summarize everything I shared with you today, and um, our, that portion is targeted for adjuncts. That's it. Any questions? <laughs>